So the quest of the best internet browser has been one of those particular things that have been coming around for a long period of time. And I will definitely tell you, there may not be a such thing as the best internet browser out there, but there may be some ones that I prefer more than the other ones. The very first one that I actually prefer, the I will tell you, there's a lot of them all over the place. There's some that used to be weird that are now coming around to be pretty decent. And Edge is actually one of those ones that is probably like not the best one of all time, but I do want to kind of throw it in here. I do actually like, you know, Microsoft Edge a little bit more now after their whole AI and open AI thing that they've been doing. The only thing is, is that they really try to go through and like, I don't know why any browser that you start up has to be like 50,000 pop-ups. But other than that, it's actually a pretty decent web browser overall. It brings you right into Bing, but you can always change that later on. You can always go straight into Google from here too. And it is actually a pretty fast web browser, which is actually something I like a lot. So it works, it gets the job done. There are features built in. So you have the standard stuff, you have, you know, GPT, or, yeah, GPT-4 right here built in, which is actually super awesome. That's something that not a lot of, you know, web browsers have built in unless you use Bing on their web browser. And this in and of itself is a very cool feature, which kind of makes it stand out against the competition. On top of that, you have the standard types of features that you normally have. But I would say Microsoft's Edge browser is actually not as bad as it used to be, which is actually pretty cool. Now, Firefox is another one of those ones that we've talked about for so many years now on this channel. It's a pretty good web browser too, like don't get me wrong. And I think the thing that this browser and the next one are basically privacy. That's kind of the big things that these particular browsers have been going for. And I will tell you, I like these browsers a lot. They're very good. I, again, don't really have like a crazy amount of things to complain about here with these ones. And I will tell you, beyond them, like they have a lot of features that are similar and overlapping. You have add-ons you can have. You have the standard settings that you can do on your Android device too. You can always change your search engine. You have a lot of stuff built in here too. And I've talked about this one so many times. All of these browsers are going to have kind of a lot of overlapping features. So that's always one thing you're going to have to keep in mind here too, that you're not really going to feel like one is like way different than the other one, unless you're getting some crazy themes. DuckDuckGo is another one too that I kind of throw in here as well. Now, this one is also another one of those ones that really focuses in on privacy. So the thing you have to remember with DuckDuckGo Duck, 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 and DuckDuckGo is that this one, again, more or less than not, it's just one of those other ones that you basically have to go through and just basically just kind of go through. Now, this one tries to go through and again, it used to be one of those ones that basically focuses in on privacy, but I do think for the most part, a lot of other browsers are kind of doing that now too. So it's not the biggest deal in the world. You have very similar features, but it is kind of a lackluster from the feature standpoint. So there isn't like an insane amount of features built in on this one. You still can change your appearance. You can still have like lots of features built in, but it's not quite like my favorite browser, which is Google Chrome. The Google Chrome browser is probably my most favorite browser of all time at least for my Androids, you know, out there. It comes stock and built in within the box, which I think is beautiful. And this in and of itself is probably the most, it's just the best browser that you can probably get on your Android phone. One, it's built in inside of every single Android device out there. Two, you have an unlimited amount of features built in and the little animations that they just throw in here like that is super nice compared to the other competition. And the other cool thing, you're probably using Chrome already on your particular other devices, which is another very cool thing to keep in mind. So if you're going through and if you're already using Chrome on your other phones, you might as well go and use it on this one too, because you already have that type of capability, which I think is genuinely very, very cool going on for this particular phone as well. So that in and of itself is another very big thing to keep in mind there too. I think Google Chrome is probably my favorite one just because there's just so much development going on with this particular browser. There's always new people adding new things and it really is one of my most favorite browsers out there. So those are my favorite Android web browsers that you can probably buy or you can get for free. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.